Kikuchi from Nigeria, now fighting out of Dallas, goes by the name of the president, a nickname given to him in his Golden Glove days. Al, the problem with the Biabuchi is he has one round of boxing in the last 14 months and three weeks. He has a big win on his resume, but is he a real player in the heavyweight landscape? You know, I think he can be. The win he has that you referred to was over David Tua, who many thought at that point was the top a pro prospect and really still is. So Ikai Biabuchi let us know in that fight that he's capable of great things. He's a good guy tonight to work the ring rust off of because the man he's facing, Everton Davis, is not a big puncher. All right, Everton Davis is a man who comes in one, four, and one in his last six. He's lost his last three, but he has been in against some name competition. Yeah, the likes of Tim Witherspoon, Levi Billups, Kirk Johnson, and what he brings to this match is good defensive skills and the fact that he can stick around for a long time. But with his record of 13 and 10, for Davis, he's going to need to show some offense tonight just to get himself big matches in the future. Oh, well, we have Boxing Bash for you tonight on ESPN2, ESPN's Championship Boxing. Of course, we'll continue to update you on Mark McGuire's progress tonight as he continues chasing history in the home run race. Let's take a look at the rules as governed by the state of New Jersey for the first bout. Ten-point must system, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Accidental foul. They'll go to the scorecards after half of the rounds are complete. Our ring announcer town, a former boxer, nicknamed by legendary boxing announcer Howard Cosell. Let's send it up to Discombobulating Jones. We are live as we come to you on ESPN2. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boxing fans here in attendance, and our viewers joining us from around the globe. We welcome you here to the Trump. Taj Mahal Hotel and Casino here on the boardwalk in the richest little city in the world, Atlantic City, New Jersey, where tonight CKP, Cedric Kushner Promotions, in association with your undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser, this buzz for you proudly presents a Labor Day weekend special attraction of World Championship Boxing on the Deuce ESPN 2. Tonight's bouts are sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Commission under Commissioner, the Honorable Mr. Larry Hazard Sr., in association with the International Boxing Federation, IBF, under President Mr. Bob Lee. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to our co-featured special attraction bout of the evening, a very special attraction scheduled for 10 rounds in the heavyweight division. The judges for this 10-round encounter are Mr. Henry Grant, Mr. Joe Pasquale, and Miss Barbara Perez. The man in the middle, after the bell rings, giving the instructions after the introductions, is referee Frank Cappuccino. Introducing the principals. First, he's fighting out the red corner. He's wearing the white trunks with purple trim. This gentleman weighed in at 215 pounds. His professional record, 13 victories against 10 defeats, one draw, nine of his 13 victories have come by way of knockout. Coming to us from Los Angeles, California, please welcome Everton Davis. And his opponent find out the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the colors and the stars and bars of the multi-nationalistic flag. He weighed in at an even 236 pounds. His professional record, an unblemished, perfect, 18 and 0. 13 coming by way of knockout, and he hails to us from Dallas, Texas, originally from Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome after a self-imposed exile, making his much anticipated return to the ring right here tonight. The fighter known as the President Ike. Good evening, gentlemen. You were both given your instructions. Both of you touch gloves. I leave it with you. So we are getting set for our first bout. There is Everton Davis, born in Jamaica, moved to Canada, then Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and now fighting out of Los Angeles. He's 32 years of age. Last fought on March the 21st in England. Lost an eight-round decision to Wayne Llewellyn. And his opponent tonight, Ike, the president of Biabuchi. 
Comes in with a record of 18-0 with 13 knockouts. Last fought on July 9th did to Bucci in Louisiana. First round knockout against Tim Ray. That was his first bout since his June 7th, 1997 win in California against David Tua. In that Tua fight, Biabucci threw 975 punches, the most by a heavyweight in our CompuBox history. Yeah, really astonishing the numbers that he threw and Tua threw. Um, his number was even more than uh, Muhammad Ali threw against Joe Frazier. Uh, in, in their 15 round fights. So that's an indication to you how many he threw. Nine, as you said, uh, 975. Ali threw 917 against Frazier in 15 rounds. Yeah, Biabucci and Tua combined for 1,730 punches. So you wonder how a guy born in Nigeria, who's only 25 years of age, has the first name of Ike, gets the nickname the President, of course, in reference to President Eisenhower, well before Biabucci's time. Well, Ike was fighting in the Golden Gloves, and the fans started chanting, We like Ike, we like Ike. And, uh, oh my. Ike didn't like that. <laughs> Davis has not scored a win since December of 1996. His last knockout, October of 96, and he floors the undefeated Abiyabuchi here in round one. Everton Davis, of course, going down with that big right hand. I beat Bucci with lots of power and showing it early in this bout. And on the inside, kind of smothering his punches here. He'd like to take advantage right now of what he's got going here. I just got tongue -tied. Well, you know, that happens. It's your only mistake in, I think, about five years of working together. So I think you're entitled to one. Well, the president getting off to a good start. And I'll tell you what, Davis on the retreat. For Everton Davis, this is uncharacteristic because he has good defensive skills and is so rarely, to use the phrase of our ring announcer, discombobulated in a... Uh, in a fight, but he has been nailed. Now, Ibiabuchi doesn't look like he's going to get the knockout here in round one. Final seconds of round one. Back to Atlantic City, New Jersey after this timeout on ESPN2. <laughs> Ibiabuchi, Everton Davis in a heavyweight fight. Out, Davis knocked down in round number one and a very big round for the president Ike Abiyabuchi. He landed 62 percent of his power shots 23 of 37 in that uh, group that he landed and uh, of course the big blow came and knocked Everton Davis down. Davis, you mentioned, lost to Llewellyn in March, in February, and Idaho lost to Derek Banks. And prior to that, in March of 1997, knocked out by Kirk Johnson. He's been in against some of the bigger name heavyweights. He lost to Tim Witherspoon by knockout in 95, and lost to Jesse Ferguson in 10. Probably his only real deep win as a heavyweight uh, came against Jeff Wooden. I can fight all night. Nice draw against Levi Billis. Oh. Uh, looking for the punch that will again hurt Davis. Taking his time, picking his spots. He had Davis down fairly early in that first round, but could not get him out of there. Catch him coming. Get him coming. All right, Let's go. Now. Davis is going to need to do more offensively. One of the raps against him over the course of time has been that he is such a defensive fighter. He's kind of picking his shots at the body there. 
at the Ibuchi's trained by Curtis Coates, the former welterweight champion, one of the great guys in boxing. Keep up. Keep up. Keep up. Usually when I beat Bucci gets you, it's early. All 13 of his KOs have been inside four rounds, but then he's only been past four rounds four times. He's only passed round eight twice. This one is a scheduled 10 round bout. So the reason why he only had the one round over the last nearly 15 months he said he had some personal problems, which he would not elaborate on. They were the sort of hallway combination. Mike is taking the body. That's what Everton Davis is giving him. So he is doing his best down there. All right, we come to the end of round number two, scheduled for ten. We talked earlier about his... 975 punches against David Tua in 1997. You see all those other fighters, obviously Muhammad Ali, that was against uh, Joe Frazier, um, though CompuBox wasn't doing it then. That was a 15-round fight, and they did that off the tape. But the rest, you see, in recent fights, and Ibiabuchi so far ahead of those fighters in terms of numbers thrown. He and Tua just, that was a wonderful bout of two good young heavyweights. Again, round number three. Great body work by Viabucci. Remember, he knocked down Davis, contrary to what I said in round number one. You know what? <laughs> you know, uh, we fixed that, though, okay? What, as you look at the punches through uh, two rounds, Viabucci going at a pretty good pace. What is better in life than a heavyweight that throws combinations? Because not all heavyweights do. And that's what you really like to see in Ike Viabucci. He puts his punches together. Even to the body. I mean, in this round, he's thrown almost exclusively to the body, and they're all in combination. Now, Davis has done so little offensively that Ike is able to just kind of waltz right in. Get off him. Get off. Get off him. Slight retaliation from Davis, but nothing of note. Quick. it up. Clubbing right hand. Oh, look at the body work by Biabucci. You know, Davis is in here off a five-month layoff, so for him, it felt like he's been that active. And you're in against a guy like Biabucci, you better come <clears throat> with your A game. Midway point of round three. Come on, come on. is a very compact fighter. He doesn't fight outside himself. He does the things he knows he can do. He's conscious of defense. And you have to like the fact that he's not going to beat himself very often. One minute to go in round three. And as each round goes by, the fact that Davis was not in round number one, you just get a sense that Ibuchi is dominating more and more as each 30 seconds of the round goes by. He's picking up the beat here and really controlling the tempo, as you say, and finding different weapons to use. He's all for his attack. He's used the left hook to the body and the head a lot, but then in the last round or two, he's mixed in the right uppercut. some of those shots to the head, but not the body shots. Al, if you're the trainer in Davis's corner, Alex Benton, what do you tell Davis in the corner? Well, you got to get off those ropes and counterpunch off the ropes, and that's what he did right there. You can't just let Ibiabuchi tee off. You must counterpunch off those ropes if you're going to put yourself there, which he shouldn't in the first place. Third of the way through, Ibiabuchi and Davis on the deuce. Bob Papa along with Al Bernstein, Ike Biabucci in the black, and Everton Davis in the white begin round number four. Davis knocked down in round number one, and Biabucci has dominated this bout through the first three rounds. Curtis Coates, uh, of course, is a wonderful trainer and was a great champion. Tell guy Biabucci, now you're doing well, but you need to be busier, and you need to really let loose with your punches in there. And they also told him the jab is win, which is the one thing probably that Ike has not done so well. There are the numbers in round three. 
normally if a heavyweight throws 64 punches around, you say, yeah, pretty active. But in Ibuchi's case, they don't think that's active. And those numbers we told you earlier uh, about how many punches he threw against two, a good indication of that. Now, Davis is not the easiest guy to fight. He does have good defensive skills. That is his, probably his main attribute. So you have to say that Ibuchi is not the first guy to have a little trouble hitting him flush. Under his body shot. And you know, that's what Davis is giving him. So that's fine for Ike Ibuchi. That's what he should be doing. And he's doing it in combination, which is even better. That's those body shots set up the left hook he just landed. See, there's where I'd be, but you could be using his jab just a little bit more. It might set up those right hands. He's giving Davis a chance to get into that defensive shell. Approaching one minute left in round four, referee Frank Cappuccino separating the boxers. I could be a Bucci, 18-0, 13 knockouts, dominating. Everton Davis so far through the first three rounds, two minutes. After that first round knockdown, Davis went into a, a defensive shell. And when a fighter is doing this, if he has decent defensive skills and a fairly good chin, He's not that easy to get out of there. You can dominate the rounds, as I be which he is doing, but getting him out of there is another story. Well, be which he's taking big cuts. Similar to what Mark McGuire is doing for St. Louis. He chases Roger Maris' record of 61 home runs in a season. Sammy Sosa hot in his season. I took some heat last week, and I, I joked with you about uh, how the Cubs might not make the wild card, even though I'm a longtime Cub fan. So I want to tell the world I'm not that, you know, down on them. They're obviously having a great year. It's just as a Cub fan, you get nervous, you know? Right now, Ike, the president of Iabuchi, dominating Everton Davis. Round number four to its conclusion. Listen, I don't want you to come back over here unless you do something to his ass, okay? Do something. 25-year-old Abia Bucci knocked that man, Everton Davis, down in round number one. He has just pounded him through the first four rounds. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, we have seen some big shots delivered by Abiyabuchi so far in this fight, and we will have more big shots for you. Not only our main event, the championship bout, Mark Johnson defending his IBF flyweight championship later on against Jose Loriano, but we will take you live to St. Louis as Mark McGuire continues chasing history. Mark McGuire will be stepping to the plate against Pete Harnish of the Cincinnati Reds, and we will get you to St. Louis momentarily. And a game being seen on ESPN as well. Mike Ibibuchi has landed 9 of 65 jabs through the first four rounds, 14%. But he's landed 58% of his power punches, most of those have been body shots. Curtis Koch told him in between rounds, don't come back here unless you do something to that man. <laughs> Just don't bother to come back. And, you know, it's, if they want a lot. They're demanding a lot from Ibibuchi. But um, that's how you get to the next level. And he is very close to being listed in the top ten in most heavyweight polls. And, very close to being uh, one of the top five or six heavyweights. Approaching the midway point of round number five. Biabuchi just picking apart Everton Davis. Yeah, this has become a very one-dimensional match. We've seen a lot of that. It's happened. But uh, he is uh, really just dominating Everton Davis. I saw enough of that last one. Good left hand underneath by Ibiabuchi. 
And the, the burden of proof here is on Everton Davis. He's got to do something to make this a fight. We'd like to have a competitive one down the road here. Yeah, token of resistance from Davis there. And for you boxing fans out there curious about Mark McGuire in the bottom of the first inning in St. Louis, he has lifted a fly ball to right field well within the confines of Bush Stadium out. So McGuire still at 59 home runs. We will continue to update you throughout the night here on ESPN's Championship Boxing. Closing seconds of round five scheduled for ten here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Ike, the president, will be a Bucci dominating Everton Davis. Back after this timeout. In New Jersey, Bob Papa along with Al Bernstein. In the ring, Ike, the president, will be a Bucci against Everton Davis. And Avia Bucci just pounding Davis through the first five rounds of this battle. Knock Davis down in round one. And it just continues as we take a look at punch numbers in round five. And Avia Bucci is averaging, as you look at that 65 turn, averaging 62 punches per round, which is pretty darn good, and landing at 45% there. Davis is averaging only 28. Frank Cappuccino separates the boxers. You'll be really impressed with this. Let's see if my math is right. If he were to continue to average 62 over 12 rounds, he would be, uh, he would have 744 punches, if it were a 12 round fight. Right now, right now he's on pace for a 620 punch round. If it were 12, there's the 2 of them. My point is he's below the two of pace. I knew I had a point there somewhere, and eventually I would ferret it out. Are you pleased as we hit the midway point of round six with Abia Bucci's patience? Uh, he's never recorded a knockout after the fourth round. Obviously, most of his fights end quickly. He seems to have not shown any frustration in not taking no. Davis out yet. And, I, you know, I understand what Kurt, Curtis Coach is doing. He's trying to push his man to another level. But Ike is doing what he does. He's doing what Ike Ibiabuchi does. He's not getting out of his game. He's not taking unnecessary chances. He's throwing a lot of punches. He is obviously, you know, 62 punches around is good for a heavyweight. I think Curtis wants him to... They're all, you know, these days in boxing, even your trainers are, are conscious of how you market a fighter. And they know that somebody's going to look at this maybe and say, oh, gee, I think you should have knocked out Everton Davis. Or, you know, Kirk Johnson did it in so many rounds, and uh, maybe he should be doing it. Uh, in fact, uh, Kirk Johnson did it in eight rounds. So they may say, gee, you know, you, you better do the same. It took Tim Witherspoon seven and Jeremy Williams nine. And in the Williams fight, Davis, Davis had Williams in some trouble. But uh, he's done nothing offensively, Davis, to speak up in this bout. Some swelling around the right eye of Davis. You know, I feel Bucci took a big jump up against David to us, so... Uh, you know, he may still be in the learning process. Round number six to its conclusion. President Abiyabuchi, so far dominating Everton Davis through the first six rounds of the scheduled ten-round bout. Bob Papa, Al Bernstein, back in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Now, action in round one. That was the right hand that Ike Abiyabuchi landed against Ever Everton Davis. Sent him down, and that was the last time Everton Davis really allowed himself to be open enough to be hit. What he's done is back himself into the ropes and get into a shell and made it more difficult for Ibiabuchi to get him out. All right, so we get set for the start of round at number seven. And Ibiabuchi to the center of the ring against Everton Davis. How about Sammy Sosa tonight, Al, getting a shot for the Cubs go, against Davis. Pittsburgh. Go, Davis. Number 57 and... Uh, puts the Cubs out to a lead. I think there's much doubt that two men will break Roger Maris's record this year. 
look at the body work by Ibiabuchi. There you see the, the percentage landed, what he's thrown so far. And obviously doing much better than Everton Davis. Davis also fought David too and went 10 rounds with him, lost 10. Oh, good uppercut by Ibiabuchi, right above us. It started with body work. That spray of water and sweat you see is what we're experiencing here at Ringside. <laughs> but it's a lot worse for Everton Davis, isn't it? I guess you can't accuse Davis of just coming to pick up a paycheck because there are ample opportunities for him to just say, See, he's been hit with some big shots. The problem, though, is that it becomes a matter of survival, and in terms of the bout itself, it's just not that it ends up being not that interesting. And as I said, the experience that last, we just assume move on. Well, we have a World champion for you for tonight's main event. Abby a flyweight champion. Mark Two Sharp Johnson will make the seventh defense of his flyweight championship as he scores off against Jose Loriano tonight in our main event from Atlantic City, New Jersey. We saw Mark Johnson here on ESPN earlier this year. Surprise first round knockout of Arthur Johnson. No surprises here. Be a boost. Look at that. Three laps in a row. This, this young man throws combinations. And that, as I said, that's refreshing among everybody. He's a 25 year old who's learning his craft. He's trained by a superb man in Curtis Combs. You never know how far heavyweight can go because there are always people lurking out there that will surprise you. And of course, there's some huge punchers in the heavyweight division. And one punch can change not only a fight, but a career. But still. You have to look at Akabi Ibuchi and say, yeah, he's a heavyweight you want to see in against uh, the top guys, in against the Michael Grants and the Rockmans and those kind of people, Chris Bird, and then maybe on to Lewis and Holyfield. The end of round number seven, scheduled for ten. Opened up here on the ropes, and that great uppercut was created by all the combinations he's throwing. If you're throwing three and four punches, the guy just is not going to be able to block them all. And uh, Davis couldn't. Round number eight underway. Scheduled ten rounder. Weabuchi knocking Davis down in round one. And as that replay illustrated, pounding him in the ensuing rounds. He has just dominated this bout. Davis has fought a good 80 to 90 percent of this bout off the ropes. And he's given Weabuchi carte blanche really to come in and do what he wants off that. How about those numbers? Davis outgunned in that round by 36 punches landed. Only throwing 20. That is not the way you're going to win a fight or even stay in it, really. Cappuccino saying let him go and when a boxer is fighting so defensively the referee is going to be more conscious of the holding uh, great step back step back well you're right about it, Biabucci. He, he seems to have one gear it's a constant gear but as opposed to putting it in fourth or fifth, it seems like he's constantly in third, which is not a bad thing. Right. He's very consistent and even paced. And especially in this fight where, you know, he's, he's facing a guy where if he keeps up the steady pace, it's going to get the job done. Uh, obviously, against Tua, he was forced to even kick it up a notch because Tua was responding so, so much offensively. And David Tua is powerful and good country. In this case, it's very little offensively coming from Davis. Mentioned that he's only been passed four rounds, I believe, but he, or four times. So he's moving on in this bout, but he's taking no punishment and not getting hit with anything. So it's not like it's going to be tough. 
the referee Frank Cappuccino and said, Davis, you got to stop holding. Don't say yeah, yeah. Just Come stop on, get holding. Him loose. Get, him loose. get that hand loose. Come on, Abe. Boy, those body shots by Ivy Abucci are just excellent. I mean, you just. He's a very good technical player. He's very proficient. Ooh, he just missed with a knockout uppercut. It'll be a Bucci. And mostly you wouldn't want to throw an uppercut from that far off, but he's not worried because Davis is not counter punching. Random round number eight, scheduled for ten. All I can be a Bucci. And the bell. Injury situation from that bizarre situation in Las Vegas a week ago when uh, ringside report comes out. And our main event, Mark Johnson defending his title tonight against Jose Luriano. Right now, round number nine in progress between Ike Abucci and Everton Davis. And Davis knocked down here in round number nine. Five, good. six. He says he's good. good. Seven, eight. You all right, brother? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he was knocked down in round number one. In between rounds eight and nine, Frank Cappuccino asked Davis, how do you feel? And he said, like a million bucks. And boy, that is a devalued dollar if he feels like a million dollars. <laughs> and he responded the same way here. Everton Davis now down for the second time in this bout. And uh, you have to do him, like you said, you have to do him kind of for toughness, but there's not much offensively coming from him. Ibea Bucci has landed 214 power shots. Davis has only thrown 216 punches, period. So that, that in a nutshell is... You know what? Funny thing, because we talked earlier about Ibea Bucci maybe not finishing off Davis and how that may or may not affect his marketability by Everton Davis getting knocked down a couple times and taking humongous punches. He's helping his market really by not getting knocked out because some other top heavyweights say, hey, this is a guy that you can pound upon and he'll take a punch and he's not going to throw many back. Yeah, in a certain way, you're right, unfortunately. That's a sad comment there, isn't it? But it's true. And he already is in the journeyman status at 10 and 13 and 10. You'd like to think that he would have needed a better performance, though, to get other big matches, but we'll see. Right now, it is uh, a lopsided win for Aikai Biabuchi. That's something totally bizarre. Good body, Biabuchi. There's a lot of holding now from Davis, and uh, you can easily see a point being deducted pretty soon. Not that that would matter. He's so far behind. I have every round for Ibea Bucci, and two of them are two-point rounds. I love the body work he does. Man, and you know, the best thing is he does it in combination. Oh, Davis is good. Wow. And he goes. And Frank Cappuccino stops it. That's all, brother. Davis is saying no. Ah, oh, man, you're taking too many. It's over. And the towel comes out of the ring onto the ring from Davis's corner. I think that's, a, that's probably a good stoppage. Even though you really don't normally want the referee to stop a fight when a guy's down, you want to have him give the guy a chance to get up. This was such a one-sided fight, and the way that Davis went down, you can't really argue with Frank Capuchin. It, it had to be stopped at that point for uh, Ike Ibiabuchi. An excellent performance. Yeah, the second knockdown of round nine. This is a fight. beautiful combination. Finished off with a left hook to the body. I mean, that that was just a beautiful punch and a little pirouette by, uh, by Ike Biabucci. Yeah, and the punch numbers will clearly support Frank Cappuccino making the decision to stop it. You can't argue with this decision. This was, I mean, that left hook to the body following those punishing punches to the head were beautiful. And uh, what do you give him for the pirouette in the end? Uh, what, a 9.5? or? Yeah, the Russian judge uh, gave him only a 6. Let's send it up to Henry Discombobulating Jones. Referee Frank Cappuccino calls a halt to the bout. Two minutes, 34 seconds of the ninth round. He's now 19-0 and 0 with 14 KOs. And he's not just a club heavyweight. He's the president, Ike Ibeabuchi. So Ike gets his 19th professional win and his 14th knockout as he stops Everton Davis in round number nine. 
We will hear from the president as Everton Davis is stopped for the 11th time in his career, plus our main event now's ringside report when we return to Atlantic City, New Jersey after this timeout.